Hey guys, how's it going? Vec Revive here for another repair video. Today, we're tackling a laser head. Um, Dyson laser head is all the same, no matter it's V15 or V12. And this one's V12. You can tell the difference from here. So the connector is like this. It's for V15, this is for V12. And what happened with this one is, let me uh, put it on the machine and show you. So, and I press open. We can see the laser has flashed once right but then this this part is not spinning so let's take it off have a look so you can try to use your hand and this is jam this is not moving at all and generally if this light flash once and turn off and the motor is not working 100 percent motor because if laser is not working here you won't flash so we know the late laser unit is good um, so what we're going to do today is I'm going to use a donor head. So this is one of the older style one. And they actually share the same motor. Um, Dyson share a lot of parts with their models. So we can take that out. And this motor is the same as... Oh. So these two motors look exactly the same. Okay, it's the same motor. So even the sign is the same. So I'm gonna change this motor into that. And so in the process, I'll show you how to take this apart as well. Um, so if you do need to do this in the future, um, for any repairs, you can refer to that. Um, all right, let's get right to it. I've done this many times before, so um, so I knew this will work, but just for demonstration purposes, um, you can see this part is not moving at all. And, and feel this, you should be able to move it with your hand. Let's test if this one works. Yeah. Yeah, no problem. So so this motor is works. It feels a bit stiff though. I think it's probably just this kind of motors. Yeah, so this is completely jammed. Alright, let's get to take it apart. Well taking the laser head apart is you have four screws here. One, two, three, four. So we're gonna use a T8. And uh, there's two small, three small ones here. One, two, three. All right. And uh, I think there's some on the side. Yeah, so there's one, one tier here and one tier there. That's how you take it apart. All right, let's get to work. I feel my, my screwdriver is dying. All right, let me get another one. Oh, this one's much better. All right. All right, so let's put the screw carefully together. There you go. Oh. Hmm. I feel I'm missing a screw. One, two, three, four. Never mind. Uh, let's continue. All right. Now we use. Um, I think this is. Um, I think this is T six. So let's get the T six in. Let's hook on my screwdriver, and. Um, All right, and then we come on to this one. Take this one out. We probably don't have to take the, the full thing apart. I think this part, we could leave, leave it on, this part. Yeah, because we're just changing motor. But if you do want to take it apart, you can. See, see this one comes off there. Yeah. All right, but I think we do not need to do this part. Yeah, so let's just put it back in. Because motor does not need to do this side. Yeah, just put one in there so you secure it. So now we'll come down to the side. So this is a bit tricky one. So take that one off. This is a different screw, so put on the side. And this one is a bit tricky one. Ooh. Yeah, lucky we got it. Right, now we can carefully remove the side cap here. Change angle a little bit. 
Okay, and this is a wheel here. You can take that off. So if you want to change your wheels or something, that's how you do it. All right, beautiful. So let's have a look. Um, so it's it's being holding by one screw over here. And that's pretty much it, I think. Well, let's take this screw off and have a look. Ooh, ooh. Moving quite a bit. So let's hold your hands here. And make sure the motor does not move. And all right, here we go. And then there's two, I think this is actually quite easy. So, so this part come off, right? And then you turn around, you, sl you slightly open up this mechanism here. Right. And we can see, can you see this two connectors here? So now we need a, a tweezer. All right, so, so the trick for moving this is you have to put a little bit, just tiny little bit pressure. You don't pull it. You won't come off, you put pull it. But this, I um, hope, hope I can show you to get closer. It's always a bit difficult when you're recording the videos. Yeah, just hit like that. And then it comes right off. See that? So there's a little clip just in the middle here just give a tiny little push it come right out see that's not hard at all so the trick is see here just tap tap here this little spot here you tap it and come right out so now we can drop the motor so motor just fully come out okay and then this part can come out and i don't think you can take this part out i think i think you can this bearing you can but we don't need to we've got a working one so we're going to just swap all the motors so now i'm going to go do the exactly same thing i'm going to take this motor out and i'm going to swap it all right just be back in a sec all right guys sorry for the mess so i just take this one apart from this one this motor but then i found a, a big problem because these two motor even though they look the same exactly the same right but then they have a different cables um let me show you Let's put this one out. So, so this cable is the traditional fluffy hat cables, which are much bigger. And this is the new one, the laser, laser fluffy cables. I think there's different models. Uh, I tried one before, they look exactly the same. So, so now it's, we're in a bit of pickle because we either have to take this apart completely, which I don't want to, because for the fluffy head is once you take it apart, then you have to realign all the gears inside and then once you realign it, realign it, you're probably not gonna work as good. Um, the other way is I can cut the cables, I can solder this one back in there. Uh, but I think that's a much better approach at this point. So I'm gonna just apply that. Um, but soldering is getting a bit messy. So let me grab my gear and I'll do that. All right guys, now I'm back with my soldering kid and my solder. So um, when you look at this, because this cable need to go into the connector over there. So you want to cut this as much as, as long as you can. And this one, this cable, you want to cut as short as you can. All right, so let's just cut it here somewhere and then cut it here. And then this one, we'll just cut it here. It's probably too long, but that's fine, I guess. Longer is better than shorter. Right, so we need to get the cable color right, yeah? So one is black. So black is always black. So black is always black. So this one's gonna go on there. And gray is the white. All right, gray gonna go on the white. All right, so now let's uh, open the threads. I think I, think I probably did a bit too long, the cable. Yeah, all right, so one, two, all right, done. And then let's prepare this cable. This cable is a bit thinner. It's always good because you kind of get thinner to the thicker one, so you know you'll be fine. Come on. Ah! This is a bit too thin. Turn it up a bit more. Oh, 
Here we go. That's a bit struggle there. All right, and let's do this one. Here we go. Now we've got the cable. Now we just join them together. We need a heat shrinking tube. Right, I got a heat shrinking tube. Just use this one, cut in half. Right. Right, I think I think this cable is a bit too long, but we'll see how we go. Should be able to tuck it in somewhere, I think. I think I think we don't need to solder it, honestly, because I think the connection is very good. And the other thing is, um, we have a heat shrinking tube, so we're just gonna use that because this part is not moving. So uh, so save us some time because once it gets soldering, it's a bit nasty. All right, so let's put that one there. Oh, here we go. So let's put this one here. All right. Now let's get the heat gun. So the soldering tube's heat gun. Just give. Right, done it's pretty good so now we'll have a solar connection and um, now just time to reinstall with the motor all right let's put this one here and first get this one all right here we go so it fits like a glove and then we go through here go through here now it comes off again. All right. So use your hand to hold like this. All right. And then we have to thread this part in. Can you see that? And then now it's the screws in there. Grab the T10. Fafi hat. Always oh, the T10. Here we go. Beautiful. Now we just have to somehow, I think the cable is getting a bit long, but we should be able to hide it. Let's see. So can you see there's a BLK? That's black. G R Y is gray. So black goes in black. Did you hear a click? Let's see. If it clicks, if it's not, then you are in the wrong side. Yeah, clicks in. And then let's click in this one. Click in. Let's go. Yep, yeah, here we go. All right, so now it's the tricky part is to hide the cables. The cables are a bit too long. That was one of the oversight of overly too long cable, but I think we're able to hide it in somewhere like this. Yeah. See, this fits perfectly. So let's get the wheels in there and uh, yeah that's it that's it let's put this screw back in while it holds the place and this is a TA let's put the TA back on all right and then 
two, two TA on the side and the shorter one. Right, this one in the back but before we try that we have to try if this fixed it uh, let's plug in the vacuum and see Ooh, here we go now we've got both laser and we've got movement right, let's let's put the uh the roller back in and see if it spins it's always the the most happy moment for any kind of repair job is when the head's been fully repaired. And back to functional. So another vacuum revived. That's what we are all about. Wow, look at that. That's amazing. Well, now just now we just put all the screw back in. The laser's working, everything's working. That's a very good sign. Now we just put a put it back in. So make sure it's so let's do the all the big ones, big boys. All right, TA, let's go. All right. All right, that's in. And another one. It's also in. And that's then we we'll do the small small screws. Using tiny one, I think it's T T six, T six for that screw. This screw is a bit tricky, actually. So it's always very easy to foul. All right, now we're talking done. Well, this one in. Let's do this one. The trick is you have to place it in there. Well, it took me a while to get in, and I think we're in. Let's see. In. Oh, done. All right, awesome. So just one more screw in the back, which is a tricky one. Let's get that small screw there. Get a, a long, long, long T8. I think you probably need an even longer one. It's easier to take it off. Put it back on, it's much, much difficult. Let's see if we can't get in there. Oh, yeah, we're lucky. Ooh, got it in. Done. All right. Yeah. So, it's all repaired. All the screws back in. This thing looks nice. Let's put it back in there. And test function one more time. And, okay. Pretty strong. Functions really well, no problem. The laser laser is is working. And try to turn it off. Turn it back on. Turn it off, turn it back on. Well, damn, I think we just fixed a two hundred dollar head. And now it's from not working at all to fully working. And we have to do some modifications, some uh, hiccup along the way, but we did it. So that's the spirit of fixing stuff. It's always you have to adapt uh, midway. Well, hope you enjoyed it. 